All right, guys, and welcome back to the Don's channel. I am the Don Father, and I'm now going to be reacting to top 10 scary Thai urban legends. I've already done a couple of other ones before this. I've done Malaysia and Indonesia. The videos are made by most amazing top 10, and their stuff is absolutely brilliant. Some people are debating whether or not some of them are true from um, the videos that I've previously done, but then other ones are saying these are definitely true and that they know of them or they have heard of someone who's seen them or they've seen them themselves. So this time it's Thailand Top 10 Scary Thai Urban Legends. I hope you're not going to your bed before you watch this because it could get scary around here. <laughs> So no more talking, let's put it on and see what the scary urban legends are of Thailand. Let's go. Hello and welcome back to the most amazing channel. Most this amazing official, please Friday. check them out guys. And today I'm talking about the top 10 Thai urban legends. Thailand is a beautiful place. I was lucky enough to visit five years ago and I met a lot of Thai people. What I will say is that actually there are very superstitious bunch with a lot of beliefs. On top of that, they have a very rich culture, which makes this list really exciting. If you guys are new on the channel, then you might not know that we have a contest going on over on Instagram at the moment. Head on over to our Instagram, most amazing official. I might just do that. Check them out on Instagram as well. Of one thousand dollars. Wow. Check out the giveaway post and follow. I'd say that's already done by now. For a chance of winning. Honestly, wouldn't that just make your Christmas fantastic? Before we get into this list, I want to hear from you guys. Have you? ever been to Thailand. If not, I've personally never been to Thai Thailand, food. but I want to go. Thai food's probably my second favorite food after Indian. I love me that spice. Mm. <laughs> While you're down there also, please do leave a thumbs up on this video and share it with a friend and just, you know, be nice today. Thai urban legends, what we got? Coming in at number 10, we have the hanging ghost of Bangkok Jail. Deep in the Crime Suppression Division Jail, criminals who have done bad things in Thailand get locked up, obviously. If the punishment for their sentence wasn't enough, they are also haunted by a malevolent ghost who wants others to harm themselves. Oh my word. The ghost who appears as a middle-aged man wearing a red t-shirt haunts a particular cell, one that he himself killed himself in by hanging himself from the railings after ripping up his t-shirt into shreds. It is said that the ghost whispers in the ears of other inmates telling them to end their lives. Wow. Do you know what? Have. This could happen the by the cell this I've... ghost is said to haunt is the one with the highest suicide rate in the jail. Coming into number nine, we have the Fihai. The Fihai are nasty spirits that you do not want to encounter. According to Thai urban legends, the Fihai are scary spirits that haunt places where people have died, horrible, violent, or unhappy uh, deaths, scary. like crime scenes or accident scenes. It is not clear if these spirits are the spirits of the people who died. It's kind of suggested that actually they're like nasty little sadness feeding spirits that revel in the drama. It seems that these ghouls take every opportunity to possess people. Oh my lord. It is said that Look these spirits that face. Are banished with an offering and in worst cases a quick exorcism. If all else fails, the final resort is whipping them out of a body. This is really quite a freaky story. <laughs> and this one is very strange. We now have it's quite the scary. Krasu. Now she is a sight to behold at number eight. The Krasu is a night ghost of Thailand and Cambodia and she is seen as a beautiful woman from the neck up anyway. From the neck down she is basically just a sack of internal organs. I've heard of something like this before. On. Weird. While she does not appear to hurt humans her presence was blamed on the death of a great number of chickens in October 2015 and then again for missing cats and chickens in 2016. Sightings are commonly reported and I would be really worried if I ran into a floating head and entry. I'm really not convinced about this story. Sorry, sorry, guys. We have the disappearance of Jim Thompson. When I went to Bangkok in 2013, I went to Jim Thompson's house and it was awesome. The house is beautifully constructed. It's a beautiful Thai home filled with artifacts and charms. It's basically like a museum, really. Anyway, Jim Thompson was loved by locals and known for being a big player in the Thai silk industry in the mid 20th century. One day in 1967, he was away in the Cameron Highlands in Malaysia and following an Easter Cameron service, Highlands. it is said that he simply did disappeared. 500 people went looking for him, including the army and the Malaysian police force. The case gained worldwide publicity, but he was never found. He was declared dead in 1974, despite
despite there being no trace or forensic evidence of him to suggest that he was. For all intent and purpose, he simply disappeared into thin air. Coming into number six, we have the malaria ghost. Malaria is a horrible illness to contract and is spread by mosquitoes, which love is it common in Thailand? areas of stagnant water. Malaria. In Thai legend, though, the illness is spread by a nasty spirit, the Fi Tai Ha. Now, this is the spirit of a ghost of a woman who died of malaria and takes delight in spreading the disease. <laughs> she sounds Not nice. Such a babe. All right, you ready for this at number five? I died of it, so you're all going to die of it. No. So we know that people in Thailand have a lot of superstitions and beliefs, and this one is pretty hilarious. I think I've heard of this. this the penis shrine. I think I've heard of it before. Break. And honestly, worshipping a statue of a schlong is worrying <laughs> to me. So, behold, the Chow Mei Tup Tim Shrine. This is the phallus shrine of Bangkok. Basically, a shrine to the fertility goddess. Yeah. If I were a goddess, Africa has got something similar. I would want penises all up in my shrine. Invite only, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it seems that women who want to get pregnant... This is more of a comedy shrine. one than a horror. Gifts. Then, when they do get pregnant, they're supposed to offer a new penis statue as thanks. Scarier still, a lot of people swear that they've accidentally got pregnant after just visiting the shrine as a tourist. Now that is scary. Coming in, she sat on some sort of Vietnam. different penis. <laughs> Fiam. The Fiam also appears in other Asian urban legends, but it doesn't make it any less scary. Now, the Fiam is a sleep paralysis ghost, which terrifies me. Have you ever woken up and been unable to yeah, move? Yeah, I've so, had that. You can't move in your bed. Oh, you can't get this up. This nasty ghost sits on the chest of people while they sleep, to the point that they can even suffocate you. So Thailand has a nice little quirk to this legend. They believe that the Fiam don't attack women, so a surefire way to combat her and keep yourself safe is to wear lipstick to bed so pucker up lads <laughs> coming into number three we have the spirit of the banana is that why there's so many lady boys in thailand they're scared of the fiam in a while i won't say ever because honestly this job has taken me to some very 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 strange places but yeah it was weird so basically in thailand there is a legendary spirit called nang tani she is said to be a total major babe a young beautiful woman with long silky hair a slim and curvaceous body soft pink skin peach red lips and the irresistible scent of fresh bananas around her mm. she was cursed by karma in a previous life and became trapped in a banana tree the young specter often seduces young men but the article i read was specific advice on how to date her yes date the spirit trapped in a tree make of that what you will the issue with dating her is that she <laughs> needs constant attention oh. honey is needy not only does she require offering like quite tree, a lot of women she also requires <laughs> regular loving if you are ever unfaithful to Nang Tani, say you've had enough with dating a tree, you'll be immediately doomed the next time you lay with someone else she will break your neck wow, wow. great if you're just a one tree kind of human, that's great. The article can give you loads of advice on how to insist. Hell have no fury like a woman scorned. <laughs> Snap your neck. You're doing you get caught hugging you other trees. <laughs> and you will die much quicker than regular people who aren't banging spirit banana trees. Coming in this is hilarious, this episode. The hungry ghost. The pret or the preta is the hungry ghost of a former materialistic person. The hungry ghost isn't specific to just Thailand alone, but it does make up a huge part of southern Thai culture. And each year on the full moon of the seventh lunar month, it's ghost festival time. Hungry ghost festival time. It's particularly big in Phuket. So basically the idea of a hungry ghost originates from a strand of Buddhism and focuses on the idea that people who are greedy in life will be cursed to be that way in the afterlife. Those who are hungry for money, power, fame, sex or food, for example, they'll be forever hungry for the same thing in their afterlife. Now these ghosts appear with sunken mummified skin, narrow limbs, huge distended bellies and long thin necks. One day a year on the day of the ghost festival they're unleashed from the world of the dead. Offerings such as food and money are made to appease the ghosts who can appear very aggressive because they're never satisfied. In actuality though it might be scary to look at them and they are aggressive like they won't hurt you. Finally coming into number one we have an old urban legend that met with a recent story. We have the reclining princess and the twelve Thai boys. Zhao Mei Nangnon, translating roughly as the reclining princess, is a spirit that is said to inhabit the cave of a mountainside in Tam Wang. If you recognize that name, it's because it's been in the press rather a lot this year. Oh, uh, yes, the yes. Thai boys got stuck that was an incredible June. story. Boys aged between 11 and Such a sad story. Some of the Wu guys died trying to save them. football team went into a cave of loads of candy and soda to play and celebrate a birthday. Sounds innocent enough. Unfortunately, an unexpected torrential downpour flooded the cave and trapped the boys 
boys inside. Mm -hmm. Their coach went in to look for them and they also got trapped. Now this is where the story of the reclining princess comes in. So as rescue efforts were made to the boys, people were desperately pleading with a statue of the reclining princess outside, leaving her offerings to appease her. You see, legend has it that once upon a time, a beautiful princess fell in love with a stable boy and knowing that their love was forbidden, they ran away together. When they heard her father and his army were searching for them, they hid in the caves. Sadly though, the boy was caught and killed when he went out to find food. When the princess found out, she stabbed herself and bled out in the cave. It is now said that her blood flows as water. Locals think that the boy's bad fortune and the sudden flood was caused by the princess and therefore prayed for her to help. As we know, eventually all 12 boys and their coach were saved. Was it the princess's mercy? So guys, that was a great list. Could be. It? What did you think the scariest Thai urban legend was? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to enter our Instagram competition if you want a chance of winning part of a thousand dollars this holiday season. Check it out, guys. Five winners, two hundred dollars each. I'd Before say the competition's over, comments, but check it out anyway. Time travelers caught on tape. You guys had loads to say. Now Severus said they're never gonna run out of video ideas, are they? Never us, Severus. Paris' life wrote, I love you guys so much. Please like this before it goes into the ocean of comments. I like it. Thank you. Now we had a lovely comment from Dragonfirelight15. They said, Rebecca, you are amazing. Keep up the good content. You're a big inspiration to all of your fans and you're fabulous. You've really inspired me. Good luck for 2019 with your videos, Rebecca. Oh, you're so sweet. You guys inspire me every day and I love you all. It's on record. Every single four and a half million of you. Please do leave a thumbs up on this video and I will see you guys. It's a thumbs up from me. Bye. The most amazing top 10. That was a brilliant video. A couple of stories in there slightly scary. Some of them just outrageously funny. And a couple of other ones I could see how they could actually be true. So a good mix of stories in there from Thailand. Absolutely outstanding, really enjoyed that video, well presented, enjoyable watch from start to finish, and as I say, check out Most Amazing Top 10, their stuff is amazing. That's it guys, if you've got anything else you'd like to see me react to, please feel free to drop a comment in the section below, and don't forget, please, 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 subscribe to the Dawn's channel, you won't regret it, because we're going to be bringing you loads of cool stuff from around the world, and... Fire that notifications bell on as well so you're alerted to any of the videos that we upload and you don't miss them. Thanks very much for watching. I'm the Dawn Father. Goodbye.